Well, hey friends, Chase Williams here, and we're out, out on the road this weekend in beautiful Kentucky playing the Broadhead uh, Walk for Cancer Horse Show. I just wanted to take a moment to film a video that you can share around. Let me explain something emphatically clear. Let me be very clear. The anti-horse legislation that's been passed, the Horse Racing Integrity Act, and the proposed anti-horse legislation, the PAST Act, even on down to the SAFE Act, listen, all of these bills have one goal in mind, to eliminate horse ownership in the United States. That's their goal. All of these bills have backdoor loops to allow it to spread out. So while people may think that the PAST Act is just a walking horse thing, or HISA, the Horse Racing Integrity Act, may just be a racing thing, understand that through the regulation process, they're going to attack all horse ownership. From trail to rail and everything in between, these bills spell one thing, the complete and total destruction of the horse world. It will not just affect show horses. Understand this. If you own a business that derives its income from the horse world, whether it's a tax store, a veterinary clinic, um, a hotel in a town where a large horse show is held, you're going to be affected. They won't stop until they take away your Shetland pony. This isn't just about ending the Tennessee walk and show horse or horse racing or the American saddlebred or anything in between. This is about destroying the entire horse industry in the United States. So to all my friends in the Western pleasure world, they're coming after you. To all my friends that are competitive trail riders, they're coming after you. They dress it up in fancy big words, but understand at the end of the day, their goal is to stop you from owning, riding, breeding, or showing horses. That is their goal. And all of these bills have language in them that open it up to interpretation so that the regulations can come in and do just that. The whole horse industry is under attack. From trail to rail and everything in between, you are under attack from the Humane Society of the United States, Animal Wellness Group, ASPCA, and PETA, and all of their affiliate organizations. I've had several members of several state equine councils reach out to me and say, we don't support this. Well, the American Horse Council supports the PAST Act. The American Association of Equine Practitioners supports the PAST Act. The American Veterinary Medical Association supports the PAST Act. And also the American Farriers Association supports the PAST Act. These organizations also supported the Horse Racing Integrity Act. So these national organizations are not listening to the, to the opinions of their members. In fact, they're ignoring them. So I'm calling on all horse owners, no matter what your discipline or breed, no matter if you are a competitive show person or you're simply a backyard trail person to join in the fight today to save your horse. They will not stop until every single horse is turned out into the field and no longer has any interaction with human beings. Remember, Wayne Purcelli, former executive director and CEO of the Humane Society of the United States, was quoted to have said, I do not have a problem with the extinction of domesticated animals, for they are a product human selective breeding. This is the enemy we face. They won't stop until horses are just a thing of the past. So what can you do to get involved today? Well, you can write your congressman. You can tell them to vote no on the PAST Act in the House Energy and Commerce Committee as it's coming up for a vote in full committee. It's sailed through subcommittee 22 to 0. When writing that letter, enclose a photograph, a photocopied picture of how your, what your horse does to you. They don't see that side of things. They don't see that the horse industry sponsors so many charities, children's riding programs to help disadvantaged and underprivileged children, therapeutic riding programs. That's all on the chopping block. They don't want you riding horses. So, email your senator, mail your senator. 
Call their office. Write their office. Same with your congressmen and women in both sides, in both chambers. Enclose a picture of how your horse positively impacts your life. Uh, one thing, uh, other things you can do is you can start posting pictures of you with your horse on Facebook and other social media platforms with the hashtag horse strong or show horse strong or trail horse strong. We have to show the animal anti-crowd that we are not afraid of them, that we will not go quietly into the night, that we will stand and defend our horse to our last breath. Yes, it is scary right now, and we stand upon the precipice of a huge cliff, but here's what I know to be true. People who love horses will fight for their horses. It's time to put down the, the preconceived notions between breeds and disciplines. That no longer matters. We are all in the same boat together. Their mission, their goal is clear. The complete and total extinction of the American horse industry. That is their goal. And they're doing it increment by increment by increment. But you can stand up. You can be heard. You can turn the tide in this war for the American horse. It's not just about show horses, ladies and gentlemen. I know that's what they like to pick on because that's what catches media attention. But they're coming after your pleasure horses. They're coming after your trail horses. All across the country, we're seeing horse trails disappear, not no longer being offered because the Humane Society and other groups like that are offering money to these establishments to get rid of it. We have to stand united, and we have to stand together. Our horses deserve no less. Somebody once asked me, Chase, why do you fight so hard up an uphill battle? I will tell you why. You know, I'm a fairly decent organist and musician, but I was a nobody. I owe everything to my breed of horse, the Tennessee walking horse. The food on my, the clothes on my back, the food in my stomach, and the quasi-celebrity status in the music world that I enjoy because I played horse shows from coast to coast, border to border, and everywhere in between. And it was the Tennessee walking horse that made that happen. They took the dreams of a young, young man, young teenager, and fulfilled them for me. That's why I believe I owe everything to my horse, even my life if necessary. Our horses demand our 100%. They demand everything of us because they give us everything. Horses have made people celebrities. They've granted wishes, made dreams come true because your horse will always have your back. And it's time that we stood up for those that don't have a voice. So I ask you, stand up, fight with us. There's many organizations you can re reach out to. Horsemen Protecting America, Show Horse there on Facebook, Western Justice with Dave Duquette, uh, FAST, the Foundation in Support of the Tennessee Walking Horse. All many different breeds are affected by this legislation. So I'm asking you, stand up. Be counted. Do not be deceived by the anti-show horse lies because they're just that. They seek to divide and conquer. We must unite. And if we unite, if the entire horse industry in the United States, from trail to rail and everything in between, comes together, we will produce a bright future for our beloved American horse. Thank you for paying attention. Get involved today, and God bless you.